Okay guys, so let's proceed with the first problem. So basahin natin. Steel rod having a cross-sectional area of 300 mm squared and a length of 150 m is suspended vertically from one end. It supports a tensile load of 20 kN at the lower end. If the unit mass of steel is 7,850 kg per cubic meter and E is given as 200 times 10 raised to 3 megapascal, find the total elongation of the rod. Okay guys, so ang first thing na gawin natin is... Okay, so isulat muna natin yung mga given sa diagram. Okay? Ano bang gusto niyong kulay? Sige, blue na lang. Okay, so again, given yung cross-sectional area niya, so isulat na lang natin dito. So the A is given as... Ano ah, nasulat ko? 300... <laughs> So the A is given as 300 millimeter squared. So kung anong shape man yan, rectangular, square, circle, yun area daw niya is 300 mm squared. So the length is given as 150 meters. So itong L na to, so lakihang, patungan ko na lang. So that is equals to 150 mm. And then, at the lower end, the sa dulo, meron ka daw ditong load so sabihin natin siya as letter P which is equals to 20 kilo newton okay, aside from that binigay yung kanyang unit mass so dinote na lang natin siya as yung kanyang density na 7,850 kilogram per cubic meter okay guys so nagbigay siya ng ganyan ibig sabihin i-consider natin sa problem na to yung kanyang pinatawag na self weight o yung sariling bigat niya okay so i-discuss ko maya maya and then also given is yung ating uh, yang modulus of elasticity na 200 times 10 to the 3 mega pascal so, pag may times 10 to the 3 ka, ito ay pwede rin natin sabihin na giga pascal. Diba, ang 1000 mega pascal, that is equals to giga pascal. Okay, so gaya nga nasabi ko kanina, ito kasi, is binigay din yung kanyang density. Ibig sabihin, isasama yung kanyang self-weight. So, ito magkaaroon ka ng dalawang elongation. So, ang hinahanap is the total elongation of the rod. So, magkakaroon ka ng dalawang elongation dyan. So, the first one is manggagaling dito sa ay is manggagaling dito sa ating load P. And then, yung isa will be coming from sa ating self-weight. So, drawing ko muna yung diagram kung ano yung magiging itsura niya. drawing ko lang ha yung ginagamit ko pala ngayon nag install ako ng open pad so, meron na siyang straight line okay so yung una will be coming from the load P so pakita lang ulit natin palta natin yung kulay ng load para mas ma-identify ayan Yun. So, meron ka nga ditong P which is equals to 20 kilo newton. Okay, so ipakita ko lang ha. So, with that load P, magkakaroon ka dito kasi ng deformation o elongation. So, yung rad mo hahaba ng paganyan. Okay? So, ito i-denote natin as yung delta o the deformation due to the load P. Ano, so nung pagkaka-apply mo ng yung 20 kN, so ang maganda rin dito pala guys, i-exage nyo yung drawing nyo. Kasi normally naman, yung mga deformation na ganyan is 
mm lang yung unit maliit so kung i-scale mo siya maliit lang talaga siya kasi mm lang eh biruin mo ito is 150 meter guys ito ay meter ha kamali pala ang sulat so kung meter yan at mm yung pinag-uusapan natin maliit kung i -re ratio mo yung drawing so mas maganda i-exage mo yung drawing para kitang kita mo ano and the next yung isang uh, deformation natin would be coming from its own weight. So, ang gawin na lang natin, maglagay tayo dito ng plus. So, ibig sabihin, ia-add natin yung isang elongation that will be produced by its self-weight. So, i-drawing ko lang. So, ito yung fixed wall mo. So, ang gagawin ko dito, i-adjust ko ng kaunti. So, i-explain ko sa inyo mamaya kung bakit ko ginawa yun. So, in-adjust ko siya dyan. Ano? So, again, first question. Ano ba ang ating itatanong? So, saan nga nag-aak yung iyong weight? Saan siya nakatutok? O saan siya naka-applied? So, tama. Di ba yung self-weight mo, yung weight mo, is mag-aak doon sa center of gravity niyan? So, para dito sa grad na to, di ba nandun siya sa pinaka-gitna? So, yung weight mo, dito naka-apply. Mamaya, compute natin yung value ng W. Okay, so, kung maalala nyo nung bata, di ba ang dati naglalandi kayo ng bubble gum? So, ang ginagawa nyo, ito, ginawa ko din. Hinahawaan ko sa kabilang dulo. Sinintay ko siyang humaba o lumaylay. So, doon, kung naalala ko, kung nagawa nyo, saan humahaba yung bubble gum na nilalandi nyo? Di ba doon sa dulo na pinagkapitan nyo? So, para dito sa rad na to, parang ganun yung mangyayari. Dito siya sa dulong to mag-e-elongate. O dito siya magkakaroon ng deformation. So, I will say that ito yung ating deformation due to the weight W. So, di ba awak yung bubble gum no? Tapos unti-unti, lalapat siya sa lupa. Tapos kainin nyo ulit. <laughs> okay, so ganun lang yung gusto kong paliwanag dito. Ano? So, with that weight, nagkaroon ka ng deformation dito sa part na to. Ito sa pinagkapitan ng rad mo. So, doon ka magkaroon ng deformation. Ano? Okay, so again, hanapin natin yung value ng W. So, again, paano mo nga makukuha yung W? Kung saan given yung ating density ng steel. So, pakitanda na lang yung value yan. Constant yan. Otherwise, ibibigay yan sa inyo sa, pr sa mga problem. Okay guys, so first, isolve muna natin yung load W. O yung weight niya. So again, weight is just equals dun sa ating raw, o yung density natin. Multiply by the volume, and then times, so mass na yan eh, Times the gravitational acceleration na G. So isulat lang natin. So we have 7,850 kilogram per cubic meter. So, multiply natin ang area. Kaso yung area natin is naka mm. So, we need to convert that to meter. So, again, in 1 meter, so in 1 meter, you have 1,000 millimeter. Word mo lang to. And then, multiply by the length of the rod, which is 150 meter. And then times 9.81 meter per second squared. So what is the weight W in Newton? Okay, so pindutin lang natin. So we have 7, 7,850 times 300 divided by 1000 squared times 150 and times 9.81 so that is 3465.3825 3465.3825 That 
is in Newton. Okay, so since kompleto na yung mga given, uh, we can now solve for the deformation. Again, the total elongation of the deformation is equals to the deformation due to the load P plus the deformation due to the self-weight. So let's start with the deformation due to the load P. Again, what is the formula? So wag ka alimutan ng word na pla. Eh. Okay. So, if wait lang natin. So, P, we have 20 kN. So, ang gawin natin, dalhin natin lahat ng units into newton at saka mm. So, ang kN yan, convert natin to newton. So, multiply it by 1,000. And then, yung length mo, so that is 150 meters. So, again, convert mo to mm. So, multiply mo rin ng 1,000. Okay? To make it in millimeter. Cancel to. One is also cancel. Okay. So over area na 300 millimeter squared. And then ang module sa elasticity mo, 200 gigapascal again. Convert natin to megapascal. Kasi nga yung megapascal, that is equals to newton per mm squared. So ito na yung unit natin kanina. 200 times 10 to the 3. Times 200 times 10 to the 3 megapascal or Newton per mm squared. Okay, so what will be the value of your deformation due to the load P? So, pindutin lang natin. So, we have 20. So, unayin ka muna si 150. Then times 1000. So, dalawa yan. Squared ko na lang divided by 300 and then divided by 200 times 10 to the 3 so that is equals to so, oy, track to 50 so 50 50 mm ok so we're done with the due to the load P now due to the self weight or oh, delta W so ok so ganun lang ulit PL over AE but instead of P, ito magiging ano lang. So that will be equals yung na-compute nating W. Or that is 3465.3825. Okay, next. So guys, yung L na gagamitin natin dito, i-define muna natin pala kung ano yung L. Uh, Okay, so yung L, ito yung length kung saan naka-apply yung load. So dito, since yung P mo is nasa dulo, so ang length niya is 150. Tama. So siguro nagkaka-idea na kayo. Ano? So since dito sa pangalawang diagram, di ba yung ating uh, distance kung saan nandun yung load is sa gitna. Therefore, ang gagamitin nating L dito is yung palahati ng 150 or 75. Okay, so that is 75 times 10 to the 3 para maging mm. Okay? Minultiply ko lang na 1,000 to ha. Huwag malilito kung ba't naging 10 to the 3. Pinorkat ko na lang. Over 300 and then 200 times 10 to the 3. Okay, so what will be the deformation due to the load W? So we have... 3465.3825 times 75 times 10 to the 3 then divided by 300 and then divided by 200 times 10 to the 3 so the answer is 4.3318 4.3318 Millimeter. Okay, so by applying again this equation, we can solve for the total deformation. Oh, that is just the sum of delta P plus delta W. Or that is, kakalkuhin pa ba? Mental mo na lang. 54.3318 mm. Okay guys, so this is our final answer. So let's proceed with the next problem. Okay guys, so problem number 
An aluminum bar having a cross-sectional area of 0.5 inches squared carries the axial load applied at the position shown. Compute the total change in length of the bar if E is equal to 10 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Assume the bar is suitably braced to prevent lateral buckling. Okay guys, so kung maaalala nyo yung technique na tinuro ko sa inyo, uh, magagamit rin natin siya dito for this type of problem. So para mas mabilis lang, ang gawin natin, uh, again mag-project lang tayo dito ng line. Tabing eh. Ayan. Okay. Aha. So, tsaka natin gawa ng... You know? Binayan. So, tsaka tayo mag-drawing dito ng reference axis. And then, ano nga yung ating set na condition? Lahat ng pakaliwa, pataas, lahat ng pakanan, pababa. So, dito, sabi sa point na to, meron ka 6,000 pound, which is going to the left. So, tataas tayo dito ng 6,000. 6,000. And then, from here... Diretso ka lang. Hops! Anong sabi doon? Meron ang 7,000 pound which is going to the right. Ibig sabihin, so coming from 6,000, bababa tayo ng 7,000. Or that will be, that is negative 1,000. Okay, again, kahit i-disregard mo na lang yung negative sign. Diretso ka lang. Then pagdating dito sa junction, meron kang 5,000 pound which is going to the left. So, coming from 1,000, negative 1,000, tataas tayo ng 5,000, or that is equals to 4,000. Okay, and then from there, dire diretso hops, babaan ng 4,000, that will be... Okay, so sa lahat ng sa nasa taas, that will be plus or under tension, and nasa baba, minus or compression. Okay, so ang gawin lang natin, isam natin yung kanyang uh, deformation na mabubuo. So gawin na lang natin to as A, this one as B, and this one as C. So in total deformation mo will be, so delta T will be equals to delta A, then minus, since siya ay compression, or shortening ang mangyayari mang, makokompress siya or liliit okay so ganun lang yun so minus delta B and then plus since tension siya delta C okay so given naman yung length ng bawat section that will be L A so pare-pareho lang yung A and also uh, the E so, ang gawin na lang natin guys, di ba ang equation natin for delta is PL all over AE. So, since common yung ating AE sa lahat ng e yung section o sa lahat ng mga junction niya, i-factor out ko na lang yung 1 over AE. So, matitira sa loob guys is yung PL for A and then minus yung PL for B and then plus... PL for the section C. Okay, so 1 over, so ano nga yung area natin given sa problem as uh, 0.5 inches squared. And then yung modulus of elasticity, so that is 10 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Okay, so pinactor out lang natin. So ano yung pinati sa loob? So we have 6,000. And then multiply by 3. So, na upfit siya. So, I multiply natin ng 12. And then minus. So, hindi ka siya, guys. Ha? 
So minus, dito na lang natin isulat. So minus 1,000 times the length na 5. So again, multiply mo ng 12 para maging inches. And then plus 4,000 with the length of 4 then times 12. Ayan. So, pindutin lang natin. So, the total deformation for that is equals to ito lang natin sa alq. So, unayin muna natin yung nasa loob, ah. So, 6,000 times 3. Pwede pala finactor out yun natin yung 12. Ano? Okay, so, factor out na lang natin, ah. Hindi ko pipindutin. Hindi, pindutin na natin para hindi kayo malita. Mali yung kaya rin kaya. Times 12 minus 1,000 times 5 times 12 plus 4,000 times 4 times 12. So equals, and then tsaka natin siya i-divide ng 0 0.5 tsaka ng 10 times 10 to the 6. So our answer will be equals to So the total deformation is 0 0.0 696 inches. Yun. So that is our final answer. Dali lang na. Okay guys, so let's proceed with the next problem.